Good evening and welcome to TH Newsstream for Friday, May 27th. I'm Brian Cooper, Telegraph Herald Executive Editor. The Iowa Supreme Court, in a narrowly divided opinion issued today, threw out the sentence of life in prison for a Manchester man who, as a 17-year-old, murdered his grandparents. By a 4-3 margin, the court said that Dubuque-based District Court Judge Michael Schubat's sentence of life without parole for Isaiah R. Sweet, now 21, was unconstitutional. The ruling is seen as precedent setting as it appears to ban all such sentences for murderers younger than 18. Sweet's case was sent back to district court for a new sentencing hearing. About a half dozen homes in Key West, just south of Dubuque, were evacuated this morning after a road construction crew hit a natural gas line under Key West Drive. No injuries or property damage were reported. A Black Hills Energy crew was dispatched to the scene to repair the two-inch gas line nicked by a crew from top grade excavating, and affected residents were allowed to return to their homes about three hours later. Millennials, young people from age 18 to 35, and their place, their influence, and their response to the local business community were the focus of a Workforce Solutions breakfast today at the Diamond Joe Casino. The 100 people who attended heard the results of a roundtable survey of 82 millennials. Kristen Dietzel of Greater Dubuque Development presented the results. Some of the broad uh, results we found was that our millennials are hungry for growth and advancement opportunity. It's what motivates them to choose an employer and paid education and training opportunities are the number one retention technique they'd like to see with their employer. The event was sponsored by Greater Dubuque Development Corporation. Turning to sports, Dubuque has two doubles entries in the state high school tennis tournament. Senior highs Gus Zaccaro and Jacob Nozina are favorites in Class 2A doubles, while in 1A, Dubuque Wallert's Jackson Takis and Jack Lucy hope to go deep into the tournament. Watch Saturday's TH for the report by the TH sports writer, Steve Ortman. And that's today's TH news stream report. Check back on TH online for updates and read more in tomorrow's Telegraph Herald. No news stream on Memorial Day, but we'll be back on Tuesday. On behalf of the entire TH media team, thanks for watching.